Words appear. Whose planned life is it anyway? In association with Sterling Creation and VIP Tech Production present Ask Donna. Donna Jodden answers your questions and offers you tips and tricks on being an author, an expert, a sight loss coach, and an advocate. Ask Donna the Advocate. Greetings, everybody, <clears throat> and I'm Donna Jodden author and sight loss coach, uh, award-winning author and sight loss coach and advocate Donna Johnson. And my goodness, I cannot believe that a October is here. I almost said April, but I mean October. Good grief. October is the month for us to celebrate the Canadian Thanksgiving. It is a month for us to just say to ourselves how very grateful we are for what we have in a country that has everything to offer, a country that we call home, Canada, where fresh water runs freely, where food is plentiful, where we have technology at our fingertips, and so many others in this world do not have it. Example, the Ukraine and Africa and Afghanistan. So, this is what October is or means to me as a person. And I want to thank my dear friend Victor for giving me this opportunity one more time to be with you. Paul is definitely, definitely here. You know that? Yes, indeed, it is here. And I want to thank all those who took the time and continue to take the time to write to me, to send me your feedback, your suggestions, and your thoughts and comments. It means the world to me because it, it is only through you and with you that I can continue my shows. Folks, I know that sometimes my shows could be a bit boring, so what I'm going to do is highlight two features that you will find at the end of each show going forward, each weekly show of Ask Donna going forward. One of them is the mental stretch, where I use uh, my special strategy that I've been using successfully for the past many years to help me clear my mind of cobwebs and clear my mind of clutter and the same for my imagination and also to spark and stimulate my creative juices. Trust me when I tell you this strategy works and I really encourage and urge you to give it a try and it is based on using one of our senses each week to help us do all of this. The second feature which I started last month is called Donna's Virtual Bento Basket. Uh-huh. What is this all about? Well, you got to tune in and wait until the end of the show when I will present you with my virtual bento basket and it comes right after my mental stretch. Okay? So, every week I wear a different hat. One week I wear the hat as an advocate. The next week I wear the hat as an author. Then I wear the hat as a coach. And then I wear the hat as an, a so-called expert, okay? So for this month and for this week, I'm wearing my advocate's hat. And what I'm going to be talking about for this month is as follows. For this week, my advocate's hat I'm wearing. And I'm going to be talking about the fact that equality is a right or a right to equality. Uh, for my author's hat next week, um, I'm going to be talking about thoughts of Thanksgiving, how you can use this to really spark 
your creative juices and to rid your mind and imagination of unwanted clutter and cobwebs. For week three, I'm going to be talking about how to pick up broken glass. And for word week four, I'm having problems with saying week, week four, week four. <laughs> I'm going to be talking about accessible travel. So without much more ado, let's get down to business. And again, thank you, Victor, for giving me this opportunity to be with you. Okay? Right. Let's put on the advocate's hat and talk about the right to equality. Well, you know, there are many ways to look at this. What does equality really mean? The late Chris Stark once said, if you have the right to see it, then I have the right to know what it is. And that is basically what it is all about. This is what equality is all about. If the normal or the mainstream person has a right to see it, then I, as a blind person, have the right to know what it is all about. Okay? All right, so there are many points that I can raise about what does the right to equality really mean, but I'm going to concentrate on three specific points. One is equal access to products. So it means if my brother, who is fully sighted, or my friends, many of them are fully sighted, if they can access any product, then I also have the right to access these products. It's called equal access. My right to access the same product that everyone else does. Okay? I also have the right to equal access to information. So that means that on the internet, if someone can access information through a website, through online forms, through apps, anything, then it is also my right to have equal access to this. Nothing more, nothing less. It is equal access. Okay? My right to equality. It is not a duty to accommodate. It is not a nice to have. It is my right as long as it is everybody else's right. Okay? Equal access to services is yet another thing. <clears throat> so if someone can have access, if a mainstream person can have access to a certain type of service, especially a banking service, then I also have the right to this service. Nothing more, nothing less. Never let anyone tell you, well, you know, we'll help you find a workaround or we get someone to help you. No, 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 no. It doesn't work that way. If the mainstream person can access services online, apps online, like services through apps, then we have the right as well. Right, I hope that I have sufficiently buoyed your interest and your energy, and I hope that you go out there and, you know, join the crowd or join the growing crowd of persons who are blind and vision impaired, and even those with a print disability just to say, if anyone else has the right to see it, <clears throat> then I have the right to know what it is. Okay? <clears throat> right then. If you would like to know more about my online bi-monthly newsletter called the Blind Lifestyle Newsletter, then by all means, subscribe for free by going to www.donnajohnhan.com slash subscribe, okay? And if you want to read back issues, hey, you can do that too, all for the cost of nothing, by going to www.donnajohnhan.com slash 
tbln.html. All right? Okay? So, and if you would like to read more of my personal editorials on advocacy, you can do it in two ways. You can do go to www.sterlingcreations.ca slash blog that's www.sterlingcreations.ca slash blog or you can go to www.barrierfreecanada.org and go to the contributions by founder page okay or founder contributions page do a find on the main page for founder contributions or contributions you'll see me there i have a selection of all the editorials that i have posted um, at least for 2022 but you can read more of past editorials by me by going to www.sterlingcreations.ca slash blog okay well it's time for my very beloved mental stretch ah yes take a deep breath now and think of it this way if you can have stretches for the arms the legs the neck the chest the head then why not a mental stretch yeah, it's something I've been using for many years that really, really helps me when I concentrate on getting all my initiatives done for the day. And I have plenty of them, but I know and I can guarantee you that this is going to work. All right. So the mental stretch this week is based on the sense of hearing. All right. And... Here is what we, or I would like you to concentrate on when you use your sense of hearing. Think of children playing and laughing. You know, you could sit in your living room, you could sit in your dining room, your kitchen, you know, crack your windows open just a wee bit and you can hear these kids. It's still, you know, a lovely time for kids to be out there laughing and playing. Nothing better than hearing kids laughing, singing, shouting to each other, expressing themselves in so many ways. Just listen to them laughing, 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 and singing to each other, and, and shouting to each other, expressing themselves. That is one way for your sense of hearing to help you clear your mind of cobwebs and the clutter and do that do the same for your imagination wake up your imagination and to spark and stimulate your creative juices okay how about the sound of balls bouncing on either a tennis court or a basketball court october is still the time when you are going to hear these sounds on the tennis court, the ball is smaller, of course, but it goes back and forth between players, whipping back and forth, and you hear bump, 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 bump. Yeah. And on the basketball court, the ball is a lot bigger, and it bumps more slowly, but it makes much more of an echoing sound. Think of it. Balls bouncing on a tennis court, or balls bouncing on a basketball court. Those are met two other techniques that you can use to, with your sense of hearing. So wake up your mind and, and clear it of clutter and cobwebs. Okay, to spark your creative juices, spark and stimulate your creative juices. And to wake up your imagination as well. Okay, right. How about the sound of a ship's horn? And I know you're going to say, I don't live near an ocean. I don't live near the sea. Hey, very legitimate reason. But here is a thought for you. There are these little devices that are sold everywhere. In, in, in maybe hardware stores, but at the bay, at, at different larger departmental stores. 
or you can even, even order it online. These little devices, you, they have sounds that you can choose from. Sounds of birds singing, sounds of waves rushing to the shore, rain falling, and there is one for the ship. Oh boy, do I love this one. When I hear the sound of a ship, I immediately think not just of a ship, but the smell of the ocean. And this is a secondary sense if you can use with this, the smell of the ocean. The sound of a ship's horn is very, very, you know, it revives you a lot. It, it, I don't know if this is a word. Vitalizing? Invigorating. That's what it is. Yeah. Invigorating. So try these out and see what you think, okay? Now, you want to send me an email to express yourself, your comments. Share your comments with me. Don't be afraid. Share it. And I will be happy to respond to you. Write to me at askdonna on blindlife at gmail.com. Ask Donna on blindlife at gmail.com. Okay? All right. It's time this week for my Donna's virtual bento basket. Hmm. You know, I was really happy to introduce this feature last month. And I got a lot of positive feedback. So for this week, my virtual bento basket is going to be filled with snacks for TV time. Yes, indeed. TV time. I can sit there munching and crunching and enjoying your snacks. I have a few for you. So here goes. How about Cheetos? They have a very you know, savory to mildly salty taste. Try that bag of Cheetos. A bag of chips, you know, those scoops that you can buy. And you have a jar of spinach dip to go along with it. So get your bowl out, or the basket contains a little bowl <coughs> that you can put your chips in. Open up your jar your, your, of spinach dip. Get your, uh, your opener um, ready. I'll put one in there for you. Open up your jar of spinach dip and start dipping your chip scoops into the jar of spinach dip and start munching and crunching. What else do I have? Oh, I have some popcorn for you that uh, is already made. Just have to open up the bag and eat it. Caramel popcorn. So thus far you have Cheetos, chips, spinach dip, caramel popcorn, and we're going to pop one more thing in for you. Some digestive biscuits by Mr. Christie. Yeah. Digestive biscuits is exactly what I ordered. Okay? I hope you like this. Oh, and let's put something in for you to drink. Well, you can either have some coffee, a little jar of coffee for you, or you can have some tea, package of tea for you, small packet. Sugar, cream, and milk are included. You want something cold? Well, I don't know. Maybe some people would not like a tin of Coke, but or a can of coke. I'll, I'll just put that in. You can choose to leave it or not. Okay. Or maybe a can of tomato juice. <clears throat> Both are very chilled. Just waiting for you to pop the top and go for it. Alright folks. So, I hope you enjoyed this show as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you. <clears throat> Thank you to Victor one more time. And uh, have a great day. Have a great week. Um, stay safe, be careful, take care, and we will talk to you again next week. Enjoy yourselves now, and bye for now. You can listen to Ask Donna every Wednesday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 a.m. Pacific, on Whose Blind Life Is It Anyway?